How can we prove that the Earth is actually spinning? Do we know for a fact that the Earth is spinning? After all, we watch the sunrise and sunset and we have no sensation of any movement. So if the Earth is spinning, is it possible to detect its spin using equipment? In fact, all airliners have equipment on board that detect the Earth's spin extremely accurately and determine its location using this information. With millions of people flying it on aircraft on a daily basis, aircraft safety is a high priority and therefore all airliners have multiple layers of redundancy. This includes navigation equipment. So all aircraft, aside from having recent advancement in GPS technology, also carry navigation equipment that use laser gyroscopes that can detect the slightest movement of the aircraft and accurately track the aircraft's position using this inertial reference system. The system is called the inertial navigation system. It has many multiple layers of redundancy. One of the systems is called the IRS, inertial reference system, which houses three ring laser gyroscopes and accelerometers which can accurately detect the very slightest movement in any direction. The ring laser gyroscopes work by firing multiple lasers in a ring shape and when the aircraft makes even the very slightest movement, the light fired by the laser takes longer to reach the detector. This will be detected as change in the electromagnetic frequency of the light. It is so accurate it can detect the spin of the earth. In fact, part of the calibration procedure the pilots perform before every flight involves detecting the earth's spin and using this information to determine the aircraft's latitude or in other words how far it is from the equator. This is called an alignment. It is so accurate it can determine the latitude of the aircraft during alignment. During alignment or calibration the aircraft is stationary with the engines off. The only movement to be detected is the earth's rotation, about 15 degrees of rotation an hour. This rotation movement can determine the aircraft's local latitude or distance from the equator. If the pilot inputs an incorrect position on either the flight management computers, the navigation equipment can alert the pilot of this by flashing the fault signal and this is determined based on the laser gyroscope's measurement of the Earth's spin. If after seeing this video and the links in the description you are still doubtful, there's a simple way to verify this information. The next time you get on a flight and you trust a pilot with your life, you might want to ask the pilot after the flight a simple question. Is there any equipment on board that is able to detect the Earth's spin? After watching this video, you may be able to have a nice discussion about laser gyroscopes. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos, especially this one, Flight of the Sunrise Direction in the Southern Hemisphere and Flight of the Sunrise and Sunset Direction Part 2. These videos prove that the Flat Earth is impossible.